Hey everyone, it's Boogeyman Ben. Hope everyone's doing well and everyone had a nice day today. Um, today's video is just a quick little video. Um, this is something I actually wanted to do last week, but with all the catching up I had to do on my videos and the fact that I was really busy a couple weeks back, I didn't get a chance to talk about this. Um, the subject of today's video is um, a tribute to um, Hilton A. Green. Um, for many people who may not be aware of who he was, he was the assistant director on the original Psycho, and he actually produced all three Psycho sequels. So, along with Tony Perkins, he was uh, the only other person to be involved in all four Psycho films, the original Psycho films. Um, and uh, he passed away on October the 2nd. Um, he was in his 80s. I believe he was 84. Um, so he passed away on October 2nd, and uh, it was a very sad day to find out that Hilton had passed away. Um, in recent years, he had been heavily um, involved in the, um, the, I think the most recent thing he had been involved in was the uh, Psycho Legacy documentary, which uh, Rob Galuzzo, Rob G directed, which I've praised in many of my videos. So, tremendous documentary, <clears throat> and Hilton actually did interviews for that, and was also involved in a Psycho reunion panel, I believe, that took place in 2008. Um, just as Rob was uh, getting, you know, going on his documentary. Um, Hilton also um, was a producer of some other really well-known films along with the Psycho films. He also produced Sixteen Candles, um, Home Alone 3, Encino Man, Son-in-Law. And as an assistant director, he was involved in, um, I think, Uncredited on Marnie. He also, he was like a producer on that as well. Um, and he also worked on the Alfred Hitchcock, uh, Alfred Hitchcock Presents uh, show and was really close with Hitchcock and um, I didn't even know that Hilton had passed because it wasn't in mainstream media and it was funny because on the day that I was uh, that I found out that Hilton had died uh, the day before that I was actually listening to Jason Allen Top's podcast because right before Psycho Legacy came out Jason Allen Top actually who runs the Psycho Movies uh, website reached out to Hilton and he did um, an interview with him and he broke it up into like four or five parts and uh, talked about each of the Psycho films and uh, you know got some tremendous insight on what it was like working with uh, Anthony Perkins as a director as well as Alfred Hitchcock as a director and uh, you know I mean uh, just some tremendous tremendous insight into one of my favorite film series of all time and it's just a, so what a coincidence I was listening to that uh, podcast the day before Hilton passed away and it was very sad I mean there's so many people that were in these films that are have passed on and left us but you know what a legacy Hilton's left behind and uh, it was great that um, you know people like uh, Jason Allentoff and uh, Rob Galuzzo posted um, that Hilton had passed away because it wasn't in the mainstream media at all I found out on both of their Facebook pages for their you know one for the Psycho Legacy and one for the Psycho Movies and uh, Jason Allentoff actually wrote a, um, a tribute to Hilton on the Psycho Movies uh, website and I'll put a link to that down below and if you guys are Psycho fans and you want to visit a site that has so much information about the Psycho movies um, I, I recommend the Psycho movies uh, webpage 100% and uh, you know just uh, hats off to you Hilton you left a tremendous legacy and I hope you rest in peace and uh, it's a sad day to lose another alum from the Psycho family and uh, that's pretty much all I got for today um, but I do have um, some cool things I want to do this week. I'm going to start a, I have a segment of a couple videos that I want to do this week, which I'm going to call Underrated Horror Films, and I think with Halloween on the horizon, um, I thought it would be a cool time to talk about some hidden gems in the horror, horror genre that don't get talked about too much, and uh, so that will probably start tomorrow. I won't be able to do a video Wednesday because I'll be working at the Haunted House. We're setting it up for opening this weekend, so I won't be available on Wednesday. But I plan to get at least uh, three or four videos out this week, one of which will be on a collectible that I've been waiting for for about four or five months now, and it will be arriving this week, and I'm very excited to show it off and talk about it. And I hope everybody has a good evening, and I will look forward to seeing you guys again, and have a good evening.